Prince Atto Eze, Des Obianos government, gifts suspended monarchs LX570 Tiaroba jeeps. The rift between the executive governor of Anambra State, Chief Willy Obiano, and the billionaire prince of Upo Kingdom, Prince Atto Eze, has taken a new interesting turn. As engineer Prince Atto Eze has reportedly given each of the 12 suspended Anambra traditional rulers a Lexus LX570 Tierra Bar Jeep. As you may have known, Governor Willie Obiano of Anambra State, acting upon the recommendation of the traditional rulers council Anambra State chapter, revoked the Igwe ship certificate of the 12 Anambra State traditional rulers who went to Abuja with Prince Atto Eze to see the president and lay a formal complaint about the refusal of Governor Willie Obiano's administration to conduct a local government election. They planned also plead, the plan also plead President Buhari to prevail on Governor Obiano to provide an account on how local government funds have been spent in the past six years of his administration. Reacting to that move, the traditional rulers were given a one-year suspension, which is subject to a renewal or upgrade. This is according to a statement credited to Greg IOB, Anambra State Commissioner of Local Government Chieftaincy and Community Affairs. The reason behind the suspension, according to the statement, was that the monarchs traveled outside the state without consulting and seeking for an approval from the state government. However, just this evening, Prince Atto Eze gifted each of the 12 suspended monarchs a Lexus LX570 Jeep, valued at over 50 million naira. They were also cash gifts given to them by the Upo billionaire. According to Atto Eze, Governor Willy Obiano's administration has not done well in the area of accountability and been transparent with public funds. Eze wonders why Governor Obiano is yet to conduct a local government election since he came on board, but prefers to appoint transit transitional chairmen and councillors. On the other side, on the side of Governor Willy Obiano, he believes that it is a disrespect to the constituted authority which he represents for Prince Atto Eze to mobilize traditional rulers to wage war against the government or the very government who issued them the certificate that made them kings. Obiano's government seriously frowned at a video which went viral on the internet, showing the 12 traditional rulers sharing money at Prince Atto Eze's house. Who is on the losing side? The suspended monarchs Go or Governor Willy Obiano? Remember that Prince Atto Eze is yet to accomplish the mission he set out for which is getting Governor Willie Obiano to conduct local government elections and also provide an account of how the funds have been spent. Prince Atto Eze had in the past accused the government of shortchanging the traditional rulers in the state by not paying them their deserved wages, which is included in the local government's fund. As things unfold, we will continue to update you. So guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Who is on the losing side or who do you think will eventually win the battle? Well, it has been said that nobody can uh, win a government or nobody fights a government and actually wins it. But be that as it were, do you think that uh, the billionaire 
in the jail of Anambra State, Prince Ato Eze has what it takes to outwit the governor of Anambra State. Well, it remains to be seen. One would wonder why there is uh, actually this war between both parties when they ought to come together, to work together to accomplish great things or help the people of the state to achieve greater things. These are little issues. The constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is clear on some of these issues, especially the issues of the local government issues and uh, the transparency of funds. If the governor has nothing to hide, I think personally, excuse me please, this is my own opinion, I beg your pardon, I think uh, the governor should conduct the local government election. At least it is well, uh, it is it is it is well of note that Prince Ato is standing up to the governor. Say, conduct local government election. Let people be in office instead of you appointing transitional leaders or councillors, as it were. Then how do you spend or the, the, how do you give account of how you have expended or used the funds that belongs to this office or these people? Prince Atoeze is already well established for himself. He's a billionaire. He's an oil magnate, as it were. And definitely, from the look of things, is not interested in the money that comes from the government. So he has his own private jet, he has money, he has his businesses and all what have you. So maybe anybody could say that he got it wrong by calling out the traditional uh, leaders or working with the traditional leaders or rulers of these communities as it were. But the truth remains that whoever is in power needs to be careful. All you need to do, give out the monies that belong, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. That is what the holy book says. You know, so why would the governor of Anambra State, you know, sit down on the funds that is meant to be given to the traditional rulers and those of the local government chairmen and councillors. So has he made himself a lord, you know, or a dictator, as it were, uh, in a democratic rule? So these are some of the issues that are on ground and nobody seems to be able to challenge the governor or the government. And anyone who dares to challenge government officials or leaders, as it were, it turns out to become another issue entirely. And they try to want to, you know, clip the wings of such a person using accusations or interpreting or misinterpreting actions and the reactions of people to be able to uh, suit their own narrative as it were that is what i personally would call this but guys what do you think isn't it what it is i stand to be corrected these guys need to be addressed this issue needs to be addressed by the powers that be or the appropriate authorities or appropriate uh, parastatals so that you know sanity can be brought back to the land what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story please kindly drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i will see you on the other news thank you and bye for now